If you know your way around Excel 2003, moving to Excel 2010 can be a traumatic experience. But if you know about these six key areas, much of the pain will be taken away. Firstly, Excel doesn't do anything different. In fact, if you look carefully, you'll see all sorts of clues that it's pretty much the same piece of software with a fancy new user interface. So the good news is that all your old quick keys, calculations, layout options, all of those things haven't changed. The new interface, that's the ribbon at the top of the screen, and all the other new ways of doing things, does make more sense than the old ways of doing things. Unless you have an intimate knowledge of the old system, then it becomes a bit of a pain in the neck. But the new design was built from the ground up rather than evolving haphazardly like the old one. This means it really is arranged more logically, and in the long run, you'll find that commands that used to take three clicks now take two. What would have been a two-click operation is now much more easily available, and what used to be buried on a menu is now right there front and center. So, step one, it's not really that different. Step two, find and use the quick access toolbar. You'll probably find it up in the top left hand corner of the screen. Lots of people don't even notice it's there. To start with, it only has save and undo on it. The first thing you should do is move it. Click the triangle on the right hand end and choose show below ribbon. Now it's in a much more accessible and noticeable place. This is your personal toolbar, so the next thing you should do is customize it. Anything that Excel does can be added to the quick access toolbar. Common options like print preview and new spreadsheet can be added by checking the appropriate option in the list displayed when you click that same triangle. If you want anything more exotic, and for more exotic read absolutely anything Excel can do, choose the more commands option. You'll start off with a list of popular commands, but change this to show all commands and you'll be sport for choice. I'm going to add a paste values button to my toolbar. Three, use right click. If you use right click already, keep on doing more of the same. If you don't already use right click or you don't use it much, start using it to find relevant options quickly and easily. Simply hover the mouse pointer over the item you want to change and click with the right hand mouse button. You won't always find the option you're looking for in a right click menu, but most of the time, there's some pretty useful stuff there. Number four, be aware that some operations now have separate tabs that only appear when it's relevant. A couple of notable examples are charts and pivot tables. Here's a chart I created earlier. And you'll find charts on the insert tab now. When I select a chart, three new chart tabs appear. That's where you find all the chart specific options. Of the three, layout is probably the most useful one but there's good stuff on all of them. The same applies to pivot tables. Click into a pivot table and the two new pivot table tabs appear. Number five, use the quick keys. These are all the same as they used to be. And it's now even easier to find the keyboard alternative to a mouse click. Just hover over the button for the command you're interested in. And if there is a keyboard combination, Excel shows it to you in the pop-up description of the button. And finally, number six, find the old dialogues. This is where Excel betrays its earlier heritage. You'll see that all the old dialog boxes are still used in the newer versions of Excel. So if you used to rotate the text on your spreadsheet using format cells and then the options on the alignment tab, just find the small arrow icons that appear in the bottom right hand corner of some sections of the ribbon. Clicking these takes you to the dialog boxes we all know and love from previous versions. Which doesn't mean that it's the old-fashioned Luddite way of doing things. It's just the way you can get access to a complete list of options for a particular topic. But don't get too hung up on those old dialog boxes. Take a look at the Home tab and you'll see that text rotation now has its own button, making it quicker and easier than it ever used to be. And of course, that's the same for many other commands. There's other good stuff in Excel 2010, including some new features but an understanding of these six areas should have you heading in the right direction.